few final preparations to get us ready for the Navy. Uh, just put a chain link in here to stop the rope from slipping and uh, this one will go off to the Mexican Navy. So we just put our ray in the water to tow for the day and catch our nets as we do and came across Albiro, our super fast navy boat and it looks like they've caught their own net which is wonderful it means that they're using their ray that we gave them. All night long, we start taking notes of the locations so of where the pongas stop. It's been a very successful way to find nets. We come back and drag over them, and more than half the time, we'll pick a net up right on the waypoint. So our, our little system's working very well. Look at this. He's got barnacles on him, or whatever they are. We find these crabs in every net. So the trick is to get the net off of the crab without hurting him or her. Oh. At the crab. Have a crab dogs. Now, just after breakfast, we only just pulled anchor just over there less than an hour ago, just around the corner from San Felipe, and here we are pulling in a quite large long line for the area. Um, it's just another another morning and pulling in a long line before lunch. We rescued two rays so far, I'm quite happy. Happy in our work. This is a long line hook. It's made to cut uh, totoaba fish, which is really endangered fish. It feels great to take this long line off the water, especially because there was no life on it. It's just great to have less and less nets and long lines on the Sea of Cortes. Great job, you guys. High fives all around.